Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and it is raining. I have this black Volvo convertible in for full detail. I want to try to get going on this, so I'm going to try to speed this video up and not make it too long. But you can see we've got a lot of road film, contaminants, customer even said there's some tree sap uh, etchings and, and just kind of built up contaminants on the vehicle. So because I don't have my pressure washer, one, I don't have the force of the, the water to kind of help knock a lot of these what I would call you know road boogers off in the tar and dirt and things like that normally that would just kind of make quick work of, of working that off I'm just using my good old-fashioned hose because I don't want to destroy my brand new electric pressure washer so we're gonna be using chemicals and foaming them on and you can see here I have superior products rage absolutely love it for kind of doing a heavier deep cleaning to remove road film tar things like that I have them diluted four to one. I have here in front of me, this is the IK Foamer, they're 35 milliliter. And then uh, I also, wait, 35 ounce, sorry. I'm not very good at math and <laughs> science and all that jazz. And then we have the Axle Foamer, the 2000. And Samit over at Luxury Market Fiber sent this to me to test out and I absolutely love it. It is a very well made quality product we have interchangeable tips to kind of give us different um, you know thickness of foam the IK foamer just has kind of the standard tip but you can see here just kind of a comparison of how the internal components are made up very similar but we do have the difference with the Marilex foamers they have the interchangeable tips there's three that come with it but you can see here we've got superior products rage diluted four to one so there's four parts water one part chemical superior products rage is a pH of around 14 so there's a very strong alkaline cleaner so hopefully that will give me the cleaning power that I need to rid the gunk on this vehicle or at least loosen it up so that way especially with black I don't do any more damage you know I'm gonna be doing a clay towel from optimum I find that that is the least aggressive clay towel I've ever used so I don't have to worry too much about marring and then because it's raining, why not? We're going to use McKees 37, their new Sio2 uh, Hydro Blue Pro to give us six months of protection since I'm not dealing with pulling it in, drying it off, and then waxing it. We're just going to wax it in the rain. So I'm going to kind of put you in time lapse if you want to watch the whole detail, but I'm going to quick foam one side of the vehicle with the IK Foamer and the other side with the Marilex. So you can kind of see a comparison. I'm using the medium tip for the axle. So that's kind of like the sweet medium I have found for foaming. But let's get this baby foamed up and see what these two can do. All right, so we're going to pump both up to full pressure. I'm going to count how many times it kind of takes for each one to build up to pressure. And then we'll go. I, I find the IK, the sweet spot, is around 30 or so. The axle can kind of go even beyond 30, but you want to get it to full pressure uh, just so that way you have maximum foaming. And you can also note on the left here, I also have, uh, Sumit sent me the Industry 2000 from Marilex, and I also have the Solo um, pump sprayer. That was actually, I won that in a contest from Bonnet Pro, um, kind of for being able to use it for carpet pre-spray. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to do a review on both of those in the future. So look for those reviews and kind of comparisons. I'm not going to do that today just to try to keep this video shorter. I'm only needing the foaming capabilities and we'll probably use these two for uh, interiors in the future. So just wanted to kind of let you know there's if you don't want a foamer if you're just looking for a pump sprayer these are kind of two really good options and obviously you can tell the Marilex is extremely well made. Again comes with multiple tips. What I like about Marilex and you can see here, we have the ability to store the different nozzles in the pumps. And then also if you slide this part off here, it's cold and my hands are tired, but you can slide this off and store your nozzles in there as well. So really well-made product. Um, you can pick these up exclusively at Luxury Microfiber. Um, they are the only US distributor, but absolutely well-made. If you're looking for top of the line, you want to check out Marilex. So, anyways, we're going to pump these up. Pump, 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 pump it up. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. All right, we're about there. We're going to do two more just to make it even. 39, 40. Okay. I don't like uneven numbers. All right. 
right, now we'll try the axle filmer, see how many pumps it takes to get to full. Now, there's a little bit of a difference in size. You can see there's not as much empty air here for it to kind of build up, so just keep that in mind. So let's bring you over here. We're gonna do the left side. Give me one second. I don't want my camera to get wet, so I'm trying to keep you in the garage. We're gonna do the left side with the IK foamer and see how far we can get with full pumps around the vehicle. So we're gonna start at the top, work our way back, and see how far back we can get with the IK foamer. I do like the button, it's very easy to squeeze, it's you know very ergonomic. It's not too heavy, so there's not a lot of strain. You do have the pressure release valve. Oh, I just did it. Ah! <laughs> it is ready to go. All right, let's do this. So that's as far as the IK foamer got. So from there, I would need to pump it up again. Now let's bring you over here. Sorry for the shakiness. All right. All right, I think that's good. Is that good? You like that? And we'll bring you up just a little. All right. Let's get our axle. All right, we got 40 pumps. Let's see how far we can get. I will say, the trigger on this one, it's well made, but it's not as easy to squeeze as the other one. Sometimes I just find it's a little bit more strain on the forearm, especially if I've been vacuuming the whole day previous and my muscles are a little sore. Just side note. All right, we left that sit on there. We're gonna go ahead, rinse it off, and then we'll do kind of a quick side-by-side -side so you can kind of see the spraying pattern. Got everything rinsed, let's do a quick side-by-side. is using up product a lot faster than this one obviously basically because it's got a wider uh, spray pattern but so that's why it took a little bit more to foam it because there's more air in the chamber so I'm gonna just do this panel right here for two seconds each and let's just see what kind of uh, spray pattern we have two all right so that's two seconds all right let's do this other side here All right, so you can just see, in comparison, we've got a little bit wider of a spray pattern for the IK foamer, but you've got more concentrated uh, solution over here. It's a thicker foam. So 
just you know some observations to note um, again interchangeable tips for the Marilex I'm not taking time to go through three different tips I'm kind of using the medium one I feel like that's a, a more fair advantage for the IK foamer because it doesn't have the interchangeable tips so I just wanted to kind of walk you guys through my thoughts both have their place both are fantastic you can just see the foam on this one is kind of clinging a little bit longer whereas this is thinner and it's running down faster so you're gonna get a lot better of a clinging capability to your cleaner than the IK foamer but if you're looking for more soaps or even if you're looking to use it like for carpet pre-spray track extraction you might want a wider uh, spray pattern you know to move faster through but if you're looking to do foaming for a vehicle for like decon things like that I think this is where you would want an advantage for it to have its clinging power you can just see kind of how uh, the chemical is reacting to both so hopefully those are some good observations for you guys that are helpful again when you're comparing the two bottles the, the trigger on this one is a little bit easier to use this one you know sometimes I have maybe I'm a girl maybe I'm a little bit of a wuss I mean I am a girl but maybe I'm being a little bit girly and needing you know it's it's a very well made product but sometimes I find I do have to kind of use two hands to kind of push the trigger down because after a while I get a little bit of arm uh, I don't know it's just a little sore but um, when it comes to being able to release the pressure valve, the uh, axle takes the advantage. You just push down, very easy. And the IK foamer, you lift up. So if you're looking to do it with one hand, this is the advantage right here. Because I can just release the pressure, unscrew it very easy. Whereas with this, you definitely need two hands to be able to do it. Once you release the pressure, then you can open the top. So. I really don't know how much more I can say about these. I don't want this to be too exhaustive. You can kind of see for yourself. The proof is in the pudding. But hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. But who would not like me? I mean, I'm just kidding. A lot of people don't like me. <laughs> but anyways, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. But. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll try to do a review on those other two sprayers in the future when I work on some carpet stuff, just so you kind of can see a comparison of foaming versus just a pump sprayer. And we're going to get going on this because it's starting to rain more. So I got to wash it, clay it. We're going to do our Hydro Blue Sio 2 Pro. We're going to pull it into the interior. So y'all have a great day. Catch you later.